since Dak Prescott entered the league, he's had the fifth best QBR. That's since 2016. Brady's had the seventh. He's better than Brady total QBR since he entered the league. And that includes Brady's great seasons, right? And I'm not saying Dak is like Brady at his best, but one guy's going like this and one guy's going like that. And that includes well, yards per attempt, the whole, like every kind of metric you want to look at, Dak's been better. Dak has well, been better maybe intermittently, but I don't know if you're going to look at this and say that Dak has been better consistently because we're talking about winning Super Bowls here right now. This isn't about regular season. This isn't about QBR. This is about 8-8 eight and eight versus 12-4. and four. And while I think Dak might be the better long-term play, Jerry Jones isn't looking necessarily to get married. He's looking for a weekend getaway. He's 78 years old for the start of this season. You start talking about age. He wants to win a Super Bowl now. And I still think Tom Brady is the guy to do that at this point. When you look otherwise, Dak, he's been good. But it's a regular season, has not had the postseason success. And that is how we are measuring these guys well, right now. Stephen Bobby, A., I know you, you want to get in on this Cowboy yeah, yeah. talk. B Bobby, first of all, let me give you lesson number one on first take. You defer to me first. Here's the reason why. Because you're, you're the, the football expert. You're the football expert. I mean, how the hell am I supposed to follow up? I mean, you're, I mean, you're supposed to go last, all right? You're supposed to let us non-football players go first, and then you sit and up sit there and put the icing on the cake. That's right, sit in judgment. But here's the situation. I agree with you, Bobby, and I don't agree with Max Kellerman. Max, I get where you're coming from because I want to be very, very clear. I'm not trying to say that Dak Prescott doesn't have a greater upside. Of course, you know, he's younger. We get all of that. He's completed 65% of his passes in his career of the four years he's been in the National Football League. He's only completed less than 65% of his passes one season, which was a couple of years ago. The reality is, is when you look at Dak Prescott, you've seen enough from him to know long term he's the way to go. But when we think about this specific question, Max, we're basically just talking about next season. We all understand, yeah. you know, Tom Brady's 42 going on 43 years of age. We understand. We just talk about next season. And what I'm saying to you is this. When I think about, understand this, Bobby, I've re religiously told Max, when I look at Tom Brady, I think it's a, a travesty how people have talked about him this year, considering what Bill Belichick gave him to work with. Obviously, Antonio Brown messed up. Josh Gordon had to go, okay? You got guys like, J you know, J Jacoby Myers. Not Jacoby and Myers, the law firm. Jacoby Myers. Lacasse, the, the, the tight end, I believe that's how he pronounces his name. He had 38-year-old Ben Watson because Gronk had retired. Look at all the stuff that you were working with. Tom Brady only had Julian Edelman to work with pretty much in James White. And so when I think about that, what he had to work against and what have you, I'm saying now take that particular situation and put Tom Brady with his experience, his knowledge, his championship pedigree in Dallas. I got Ezekiel Elliott behind me running the football. I got this offensive line that's going to protect me. I got a number one in Amari Cooper. I got a reliable tight end, at least to some degree, no matter how old he is, in Jason Witten, who could be somewhat of a security blanket. I've got others as well. Terrence Williams is these boys. I'm just looking at it from the standpoint. The Gallup, I'm sorry. You got him going on. You got all of that going on. Yeah, but Give Tom Brady those weapons. Give him those weapons, Max. And I'm saying, for one season, this is the key, Max. You, Dak Prescott goes along to get along. And I'm not trying to sit up there. That's not an insult. He's younger in his career. So you're going to defer to your offensive coordinator, Jerry Jones, Jason Garrett at the time. Tom Brady's Tom Brady. Excuse me. This is what we need to do. Here's why. We're not going to forget about Ezekiel Elliott, who's running the football effectively. We're not going to forget about Gallup, who's got an advantage on the outside, on the right side, or the left side. We're not going to do those things. The fact that you have that leadership, who can he can be a general on the football field, and you don't have to defer to the absence of coaching, I believe they had, in Jason Garrett but, but wait, and Kellen Moore as your offensive coordinator, I think that Tom Brady would have been a better option. Or I would be a better option. We're, we're even though that's not the case now because McCarthy versus here. someone else and talking about roster construction. You know, Bill Belichick has often not been good at constructing a roster that makes you say, wow, when you look at it on paper. But then you watch it function through the season with and without Tom Brady. Matt Castle won him 11 games that year. That was 2008, now, Matt Castle Max. Won him a, okay, but that the was point is he did. 
The point is, he did when Brady 12 got years hurt, ago. When Brady got hurt a couple of years, well, he's been healthy. Didn't you have, did you have a bald? Didn't you have on. a bald head 12 it, years ago? It, <laughs> I, I, no, not 12, but yes, once upon a time. Right. But the point is, <laughs> the point is, you're looking at old album covers. The, yeah, the point yeah. is, <laughs> when Brady went down and Jimmy G and Brissett got what was it, four starts? They went three and one. Like the okay. sample sizes are small, but what we've seen three, is nothing ago. but success from right. Belichick constructed rosters. Meantime, Dak is dealing with Jason Garrett as a head Max, coach. They didn't have a single guy in the New England Patriots this year that would be able to win on the perimeter and, sure. and draw Not double one. coverage. And because sure. of that, you asked Tom Brady to do so much. Their offensive line was beaten up. I would argue that this Dallas Cowboys roster is a lot more like that 2007 Patriots roster than this New England Patriots On roster paper. ever could be. And so you bring a guy in like that who just has to pull the trigger. He doesn't need to be an unbelievable playmaker. All he has to do is distribute the football in big moments. And I'll tell you this. Nine times he has been to the Super Bowl. He has won these things. Six times he has been unbelievable. He is the GOAT for a reason, and that's well, what we're talking well, about. Except he's, the goat. Season. he's the GOAT because he is great, intrinsically great. Wherever he went, he would have been great. But he's the GOAT because he played for Belichick. Let's be very clear about that. Belichick could have taken a number of quarterbacks. They'd be considered the GOAT, not Tom Brady. Had he had Aaron Rodgers the whole time, Drew Brees the whole time, they'd be the GOAT, clearly. Look, Brady, the, the record in Super Bowls tells you everything you need to know, Bobby. He's been there nine times, won six. They're all, like, within a score. You know, they're all, they're all within a score. So the fact that Brady, you're right, Brady gives you a premium. But what that says more than anything is Belichick puts you in a position to win as does Brady. You can't totally separate them. But let's be honest here. Dak is doing what he's been doing, and what he's been doing is winning a lot more than he's been losing, putting up better numbers than Tom Brady, and he's a dual-threat quarterback. Dak has been doing that with Jason Garrett as his head coach. Jason Garrett is now an offensive coordinator. Bill Belichick is not only the best GM of all time, he's also the best coach yeah, but, of all but time. But here's, but, here's, but here's what you're missing, Max. We're not talking about Dak Prescott with the Patriots. We're talking about Tom Brady with the Cowboys, meaning that all the things you've lamented about the Cowboys in terms of their leadership on down, that's what we're talking about. We're not looking at the talent of Dak Prescott and saying, excuse me, this brother can't play. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.